Nothing is ever easy when you're doing it for the first time. All right, so we're back in the van. I got all of the plywood floor removed so that I could see what was underneath and maybe clean a little bit if needed. Now I just gotta figure out what I wanna do with this mat. Decisions to be made, but at least in the meantime, I do need to pull up the floor so that I can clean underneath. Now, if I wanna pull the rubber mat completely out, it means I have to remove the bulkhead now. We'll see what I can do there. I'm gonna try unbolting the bottom bolts, see if I can pull the rubber mat out and go from there. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need some power. I brought some power because doing it by hand is clearly not enough. Probably should have started with this. <laughs> Oh. That was a fun snapping noise. But it worked. Okay, I think the bottom is not connected anymore. So in theory, I should be able to slide this out. In theory. I don't know what it's stuck on. How do you get this off? So I am going to try to remove the entire bulkhead because apparently that's what I have to do. I pulled out more of these from the bottom and that separated it from the bottom plate, which I think, yeah, that's what bolted it to the floor. So now that is actually separated. Okay. This piece that goes all the way across, that's stinking heavy. Let me get it out. Yes. It looks like this is its own piece and it's connected here and down the sides. So that's where I'm going to disconnect this side from. Well, it's turning, but nothing's happening. I think it's just spinning. So I'm going to clamp on one side and screw on the other. This will not hurt. This will not hurt. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'm going to do that a bunch more times. So I got the whole panel off. It was actually very easy to disassemble. I will tell you what I did learn is uh, start from the bottom because when you start at the top, that means the top is not attached. And so on the very last screw that I did on the other side, the, the whole panel was starting to like lean forward a little bit. And this one has a door attached to it. So that'd be even worse. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and hopefully the door won't be in the way because I need to reach around to uh, have the screwdriver on one side or the drill on one side and my wrench on the other. Hopefully that does not present a problem. How to reach around this. So the screw that I need or the bolt that I need is down here. When the door is open, it just closes it. So since that might not work, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just remove the entire bracket from the wall here and then remove it from the top. All right, so now I'll get it from the top. Widen my wrench a little bit. Bolt. Wrench. Nope, not tight enough. <laughs> Nothing is ever easy when you're doing it for the first time nothing is ever easy it's still not tight enough hey ta-da all right the one that i'm going to be the most scared of is actually both of these because right now it's hanging so it's probably going to fall and hopefully not break anything. Oh. Wrong hands. Okay. Now this is the one where hopefully I don't drop this on myself. Ow. Okay. Now it's just hanging. So if I put my foot there, let me see if I can just get it out. Maybe if I do this and pull. Hey, that worked. Oh man, that's heavy. It's heavy 
already and it's on my toe. Which is where I put it. But still. So now I have this monstrous thing that I gotta put somewhere else. You stay there. Alright, so now I should just be able to pull this up. Hey! And I got a pen! I'm gonna go ahead and take these out just to make my life a million times easier. And then I'll sweep up the floor, kind of get that cleaned and ready. Start laying out the wood pieces. I'm doing good. I'm actually surprisingly doing more than I thought I was going to today. I didn't think I would be taking out the bulkhead. Um, and it's really nice to know that it's not that hard to do. <laughs>